morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Mark Park, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day, and it's a Wednesday, uh, March 9th. Hey, we got, very again, this week is a light on the data docket, but we do got wholesale inventories for the month of January. So back in December, we saw a pullback of uh, minus 0.1%. Uh, but in January, it up increased to 0.3%. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye and see if this increases, if this is just kind of a lag of, um, you know, expected uh, uh, inventories coming in for people purchasing or if the economy is going to be increasing. So if we can see wholesale inventories continue to go up, that means they're probably having a little confidence level that the economy is going to be moving forward. So let's go ahead and jump in here. We got uh, stock market is currently up. Uh, we got a few... Uh, a uh, lot of it, you know, there's so much of volatility, you're probably getting tired of me saying, because I'm getting tired of saying it, is oil's up a little bit. Uh, yesterday it was down just b below $37, now it's just up above $37. So the stock market's been really taking this cue from the oil market and the volatility of the oil market, which is, which is kind of really dictating the uh, stock market. Uh, tomorrow we also got the ECB, the European Central Bank, is going to be giving their uh, meeting to tomorrow and be giving their assessment there's a there's been a lot of talk about some um, austerity measures kicking in uh, tomorrow and uh, they're supposed to announce some maybe pretend they're the way Draghi talked it looked like it could be a pretty aggressive but he did disappoint in December so we'll have to kind of wait and see what uh, exactly is coming out they're expecting to go further into negative territory on their interest rates uh, maybe some more purchases on their uh, uh, bonds over there uh, so I'll have to kind of see it, what they're going to um, do over there. And they were uh, the investors were uh, underwhelmed, so to speak, in uh, December. So we'll have to see what he comes up with uh, tomorrow's meeting. Next week, we have the Fed's meeting next week. So uh, that could, a lot of investors are going to be waiting to see what they have to say. They don't expect the rates to go up this month. Um, but depending on data, it's possible it could uh, go up th at some point this year uh, again. So we'll have to kind of see what they say. And then also there's some uh, earnings reports coming out, which is kind of dictating the market. But most notably, the oil uh, being up is what's kind of driving the markets right now. Uh, bond market as a result, of course, pulled back a lot. We're down about 25 basis points right now. We're kind of uh, hitting the uh, previous lows. Uh, we're hitting the resistance level, as you can see, those uh, that floor of the two green lines there. Uh, these are resistance level. We'll have to kind of wait and see if we can... Uh, uh, stay above those lines here and bounce back a little bit. But currently we're down about 25 base points, which translates uh, pricing for the worst in terms of interest rates. So interest rates went up a little bit today as a result uh, of today's news. All right, folks, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.